uh, as I discussed earlier in the previous lecture that pairwise testing technique is a technique where we use the or where we test the input fields in the form of pairs instead of testing all the possible combinations orthogonal array testing is a type of pairwise testing and uh, before discussing about orthogonal array testing let us discuss about orthogonal array and we see what is actually the orthogonal array uh, there are uh, different types of orthogonal arrays uh, in this lecture we will study the orthogonal array of strength 2 so there may be orthogonal arrays of strength 3 4 or 5 but uh, for the time being we are discussing the orthogonal array of strength 2 so for the orthogonal array of strength 2 the rule is that if you take any two columns from that array all the combinations of those two columns will be same as the combinations from any other two columns and if you take the uh, orthogonal array of strength 3 then you need to take three columns and you need to compare the value from those three columns with any other three columns so here is an example this is an orthogonal array and here we have three columns and this is the array of strength 2 so we will compare the values from any two columns with any other two columns say uh, let's delete these values first we take first two columns I mean we take the column number one this one and this one so the column the first column and the second column have these four combinations let me write these here one one and one two and two one and two two now you can compare these combinations with the with any other two columns so next let us see let us say we take column 2 and column 3 so these two columns have the combinations 1 1 and this is already here and 2 2 and this is also already here we delete it and 1 2 and this is here and 2 1 this is here so the order may be the difference but the combination combinations will be the same so this is the only property of orthogonal array if any array doesn't have or doesn't meet this property we cannot call it orthogonal array and this is the notation for the orthogonal array this 4 shows the number of rows it is also called runs and so in this orthogonal array we have 4 runs or 4 rows and this superscript 3 shows the number of columns which is also called the factors and in this orthogonal array we have three columns and this two shows the options in each column here in first column we have two options in second column we have two options one and two and in third column we have two options so this notation shows that this is an array with four rows and three columns where each column has two options of course we can have orthogonal arrays where we uh, have more than three columns and different columns may have different uh, number of options like if i write this way fifth four it is uh, 56 this is the number of rows in that uh, orthogonal array and then I write 2 3 and 4 2 this notation shows that it is a orthogonal array 
which has 56 rows and 3 plus 2, I mean 5 columns, whereas the th 3 columns have 2 options in each columns and and the in other two columns we have four options in each column so th this is the notation that is used to represent the orthogonal array so the next is the limitations of orthogonal arrays uh, this is an orthogonal array uh, the first rule is we can delete any column from the orthogonal array and if we delete any column the orthogonal behavior of the array doesn't change it still remains orthogonal array uh, previous array was also a smaller array if we do not have any bigger array here so but you can understand in this way that if we uh, one second So in this array, if we delete any column, it will still be an orthogonal array because the original property that we discussed will not change. Uh, but if we delete any row, it will no more be the orthogonal array. Why? Let us see. Suppose we delete the row number 4 from this orthogonal array. Say we do not have this row in this array. So now the orthogonal property will not hold anymore. The reason is let us choose these first two columns and place down its combinations and it has these three combinations 1 1 1 2 and 2 1. Now let us choose any other two columns say we choose two second and third columns it has these three combinations which are 1 1 2 2 and 1 2 now compare these two uh, combinations it has 1 1 1 2 2 1 and it has 1 1 2 2 1 2 now you can see that in these combinations we have do not have the value 2 2 and in these combinations we do not have the value 2 1 so this is against the basic property of the orthogonal array so it is no more an orthogonal array so from this uh, we conclude that in any orthogonal array we can delete the extra columns if we have but we cannot delete any row so Next, we uh, understand uh, see a scenario. Suppose this is a scenario. Uh, we have a web form with three fields: gender, degree, and institute. The first field has two values. The second field has two values, and the third field also has two values. And we need to test this form. If we uh, test this form with simple technique of combinations we will have 2 into 2 into 2 and that will equal to 8 we will have 8 test cases but if we use the technique of pairwise testing using the orthogonal arrays the test cases will reduce and for using the technique of orthogonal array first of all we need to find a suitable orthogonal array which will meet the need of this scenario as a tester we do not need to know how the orthogonal arrays are created or developed and what is the logic behind uh, creating orthogonal arrays we just need to choose uh, an appropriate orthogonal array for our given scenario so you can find orthogonal arrays from the reference books are from some online resources so uh, for this problem we choose an orthogonal array from the source uh, this is uh, let me delete the values first 
we will fill it later after discussing the logic that we will use let me delete all of them thanks for the patience so this is this was our scenario and this is the orthogonal array that we chose and that is uh, very according to this very much according to this scenario and to write test cases by using this orthogonal array we will see how many columns this uh, array has it has three columns and here we have three fields so we will map every field with every with every, each field with each column so the first field can be ma mapped with gender so i write here gender and here i write degree and this is the field of institute my handwriting is not good because it is not that easy to write with mouse and now we have to fill these input values and to fill these input values we have to uh, assign numbers to these these values say we assign 1 to male which is 1 and female is 2 Similarly, is say here MBBS means 1 engineering is 2 similarly you can assign 1 to UET and 2 to King Edward so this is the field of gender and we will see wherever we see 1 we will replace this one with male so here we will write male and next here here it is 1 so again we will write male and here it is 2 so we will write female and again here it is 2 so we will write female in the next column uh, the title is degree and uh, for degree we assigned 1 to MBBS and 2 to engineering so wherever we will find 1 we will replace it with, with MBBS and wherever we will find 2 we will replace it with engineering so here it is 1 I will write MBBS and here it is 2 I will write engineering and uh, again it is 1 MBBS and again it is 2 it will be engineering and the last field is institute so UT is 1 and K 2 so here is 1 2 2 1 so I write 1 for UET and uh, 2 for KE again it is 2 again KE and here it is 1 so again UET so these are this, this is the way we fill the inputs and the, we write 4 test cases by using this orthogonal array so this is how we use uh, you may say the orthogonal array for pairwise testing uh, in the next lecture we will uh, discuss another example so stay tuned stay tuned for that video as well